What is up guys, welcome back to another GeekyWatt video and today I am back with my 2018 gaming PC build videos. In this video I'm going to take you over the best $500 gaming PC build for 2018 but I'll also link in the card section now a range of builds all the way up to the $1500 price point. I'll also leave links to all the parts mentioned for a range of retailers and regions in the description below if you would like to check that out. All of the gameplay in the background of today's video has been recorded using this gaming PC to give you a bit of an idea of some real world performance but overall this thing is going to perform really well at the latest AAA titles, medium settings, with anti-aliasing toned down a little bit, and also the slightly older games, CSGO, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, at 1080p medium to high settings, uh, well over that 60 frames per second mark. Without any further ado though, let's jump into the parts I chose and kick it off with the CPU. The AMD Ryzen 3 1200 chip is AMD's lowest end Ryzen 3 CPU but is actually a quad core CPU that's overclockable and comes in with a base clock of 3.1 GHz. Importantly it's a quad core CPU which makes it compatible with pretty much all the latest AAA titles and also future proofs it somewhat. You can also overclock this chip fairly easily and the included stock cooler, the Wraith cooler is fantastic as it keeps your CPU nice and cool and prevents any thermal throttle and even give some overclocking leverage. For the motherboard I went for Asus's Prime at B350M-E. It's a micro ATX motherboard which strikes the best balance between uh, the feature set giving you all the stuff you need in a small enough form factor that isn't too expensive. It's a middle of the road board uh, that is really really great value. Importantly the B350 chipset means you're actually able to overclock the CPU here uh, with as simple as one click in the motherboard BIOS which is going to give you and afford you some free performance at a higher clock speed especially in those slightly older games that like that fast single threaded performance. Not only that, the motherboard also looks really nice with a black and red colour scheme, although they do do it in a more colour neutral uh, black and silver scheme if you prefer. It has an M.2 slot for fast SSDs, a decent rear I.O. as well as two RAM DIMM slots for some upgradability. Talking of memory, this is a part where over the past two years prices have just skyrocketed and shown no signs really of slowing down. Corsair's Vengeance LPX 8GB, a 1.8GB DIMM of DDR4 memory is the perfect choice. Its low profile design means that it isn't going to get in the way of any of your other parts in this build if you put a big bulky CPU cooler on later down the line as an upgrade this isn't going to get in the way. I've used this for about three years now ever since I first built my X99 PC and I've not been disappointed in it the slightest. It's a really nice sticker RAM that does what it says on the tin and leaves you some room for upgrades later on down the line. For storage I went for a hard drive as to be expected, in this case Seagate's Barracuda. This 1TB hard drive gives you a thousand gigs of space for all your movies, music, games, Steam and Origin libraries at the super fast 7200 RPM speed. Yes, it isn't as fast as an SSD and it's not going to be for half of the price and four times the capacity, but the 7200 RPM speed is as fast as your mainstream consumer hard drives get and I have so many of these Seagate drives, I just trust them so, so much. That isn't to say you shouldn't back up your most important documents, but if I'm going to recommend a hard drive, it's going to be this one. For the graphics card, I went for Asus's GeForce GTX 1050. It's a 2GB graphics card, and Asus actually offer a range of different coolers here. Graphics card pricing due to the rise of cryptocurrency mining has become stupidly expensive, and graphics card pricing is fluctuating quite a lot. In short, pick up any 2GB GTX 1050 that you can for the cheapest price uh, when you go to buy these parts, and that is going to serve you really nicely indeed. The penultimate part on this list is of course the case, I went for Thermaltake's Versa H15 which I actually featured in a dedicated video in the card section now. This Thermaltake Versa case is nice and small with the micro ATX form factor but supports full size ATX power supplies which are cheaper and also has a nice side panel window as well as USB 3 on the front IO. The mesh front panel is also really good for airflow to keep your system nice and cool and overall it's a really nice case at a ridiculously low price and like all the parts mentioned is available on Amazon Prime for next day or two day shipping which is really convenient. Finally for the power supply in this build I went for Thermaltake's TR2 
500 watt. Importantly, this is an 80 plus certified unit, which is a really widely uh, acknowledged standard that you should get on any power supply. That guarantees that this unit will run above 80% efficiency at all times, and that's tested by an external company at 20%. 50% and 100% load scenarios. That's going to save you some money uh, with this power supply outputting less of the energy from the wall as heat and more of it as actual usable electricity that your computer can use. The fan is nice and quiet and the 500 watts of available output is more than enough with this build consuming around 230 watts at load. You've got more than enough headroom here. You should never cheap out on a PSU but at the same time you don't need a 1500 watt unit for a build like this that really is very very power efficient but that about wraps it up for my first pc build of 2018 if you enjoyed it smash that like button let me know what you think of the new updated format with actual build footage part footage uh, let me know what you think of my new motorized slider which let me get which has let me get sorry some really sick shots in today's video links for all the parts in the description below where you can compare for different regions and retailers Hit me up on Twitter, it's at GeekaWatt, but as always, we'll see you in the next GeekaWatt video.